Jensen defending his Australian World Away title. And doing it quite well now in this round. 12 round scheduled bout. And that's where he's doing the best. In fact, Jeff Malcolm's been him to the jab, but when Jensen gets inside, he is dynamite. Oh, big jab from outside. He moves in. Body punching, trying to get through. Jeff Malcolm uh, says, I think I'll hang on for a while, but then the bell sounds the end of the round. The halfway mark. It's Malcolm's turn to get on top, but it's developing into a leaning wrestling affair. Jensen, the Australian World Away champion, looking very good here as we move into round six at the Superdome. Round six of 12 scheduled rounds. Jeff Malcolm knows he's got to pick up the pace. He's behind on points. And good punching on the break by the champion, Wolf Jensen. Good left hand there by Malcolm. And another one. Malcolm's starting to look better. He came good a little bit in the fifth round. Now he's starting to look a bit stronger in the sixth. Can he keep going with it? He's behind on points. He knew he came out in the sixth. He had to pick up the tempo. That's just what he's doing. It's a slip. Both boys slip. <laughs> it's a brand new canvas here at the Superdrome and it is very slippery underfoot. Tom Fiorotto from South Australia, the referee. Giving a very close watch on these boys indeed. Tempo certainly has picked up. The crowd starting to warm to this fight now. Very quiet start. And I think a little bit stunned by the fact that Flash Malcolm oh, is behind on points. Right left hand from Jeff Malcolm. Now it's Jensen who's hanging on. That was a great body punch. <laughs> Referee Tom Fiorotto from South Australia having very bit of work to do in this fight to keep the boys apart as they get into the second half of the fight there is a lot of leaning a lot of shoving a lot of wrestling that was a good right hand did it get through we couldn't see it right from here Hard right, is to pick which of the clean punches. Yes. They're both throwing lots, but not many are getting through crisply. A lot of forearms and gloves. I think Malcolm's left arm's working a lot, the left hand's working a lot better for him now, probably his arm as well. He has uh, landed a, a few, but as you say, it's very difficult to really pinpoint whether they're getting right through. Although there is a cut under the right eye now of Wolf Jensen, which would suggest that maybe a couple have got through. The end of the round. And I'll tell you what, this title fight is hotting up. Wolf Jensen maybe, well I'd say yes. Wolf Jensen just in front on points.
by sheer perseverance, Malcolm has just about caught up, perhaps a shade behind. But it's all coming down to just who finishes the better in the closing round. Just three rounds left in this title fight, and it is close. It certainly is close. Wilf Jensen won the early rounds very convincingly, but Jeff Malcolm has come back dramatically. At this stage, as we go into the 10th round of 12 rounds, three to go, Wilf Jensen, we figure on our scorecard, is up by one round. And then the judges might see that too. So Jeff Malcolm has come back superbly. This is anybody's Australian welterweight title fight. Well, as you suggested earlier, Bruce, down to the last three rounds, and that looks like the way it's going. Oh, that was a great turn from Jeff Malcolm. That one was on the button, so was that one. Melbourne's getting the best of this exchange. But now it's uh, Wolf Jensen's turn to fight back. He got a couple of good, can't get his hands out, holding. And there's a, there is, there is a caution there from the referee. said by the start of the fight there was going to be a danger of a head clash it's even getting worse now as these last three rounds unfold both fighters are a little tired those heads are getting terribly close together inside Wolf Jensen wants to obviously defend his title Jeff Malkin says this is my last chance I'm going for broke it has been a tremendous fight the fitting of an Australian title fight Jensen very strong, finishing on, walking up on Malcolm. Both these boxers have thrilled Australian fight crowds over the years, and they're doing it again here tonight in Perth Superdrome. The Australian welterweight title fight, Wolf Jensen defending his title against Jeff Malcolm, the former Queenslander, three times Queensland champion, now resident in Western Australia. We may be seeing his last professional fight, as Rod Marsh has told you. He says he'll retire if he doesn't win this fight. He hasn't. Perhaps stealing himself now for one final fling, one last punch, one punch that will put the champion down. But I don't think he's got it in him. They're both pretty tired, but of the two, Jeff Malcolm's the tighter. Time's running out. Jensen finishing on strongly. Desperation stuff from Jeff Malcolm. Oh, and he took a couple of big ones there. Mind you, Wolf Jensen will know he's been in the fight. There it is, it's all over. So, a unanimous decision. Wolf Jensen retains his title. Jeff Malcolm goes into retirement.